Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Who doesn't love a good hamburger? Well, I certainly do and in fact, I've been a bit obsessed with burgers recently. So much so that I ate a whole bunch of them when I was in the UK. But now I'm back to India and I'm back on keto and I was looking for the perfect burger bun. Now I gotta be honest guys, as much as I love keto bread, I don't eat it very often and honestly whenever I've had it with a burger, I generally find it to be too heavy, dense and it doesn't quite hit the spot for me. So last week I experimented a bit and in I don't know if it's ironic fashion that I started keto all over again that I'm going back to the very first keto recipe that I ever made which was cauliflower pizza and today we're making cauliflower hamburger buns and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pork burger as well. So anyway enough jibber jabber from me let's go and make that cauliflower hamburger bun. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my cauliflower florets and put it in my food processor and then I'm going to blitz it till it becomes a nice fine powder. You almost want like a cauliflower couscous. Of course if you need to open it up, scrape down the sides and blitz away. Now normally I use the grater attachment. You can use that as well if you like. You can even grate the cauliflower by hand, no problem. Once that's done, I'm going to transfer the cauliflower into a bowl and then I'm going to microwave it for about 6 to 7 minutes. Once that's done, it's time to transfer the cauliflower into a tea towel or any cloth that you have lying around. Make sure it's clean of course. And the reason is we want to squeeze out all the water in the cauliflower. This will help the buns stick together because if you don't do this, well the bun might just break apart. So anyway, put the cauliflower in the tea towel and squeeze as much water as you can out of it. Once that's done, we're going to put it into a mixing bowl. I also weighed the cauliflower now and it was a little more than I required for this recipe. So I took some of it out. Then I'm just going to season it with some salt, a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. I'm also going to add in some cream cheese and I'm going to break in one egg into that and then my friends you know the drill what do we do we give it all a good I'm waiting for you to say it I won't continue the recipe till you say it mix once that's done you're going to portion it out and using a cookie cutter you're going to sort of make the hamburger bun on a baking paper or a sill pad like I'm using and this recipe should make about four hamburger buns well four half buns actually once you've done shaping the hamburger buns you're gonna put that tray into the oven at about 190 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's cooked all the way through and nice and golden brown and that's it our cauliflower hamburger buns are ready. Now folks, remember that one cauliflower disc is only half the hamburger bun. Yeah, so you use it as the bottom bun and then the top bun. Just in case any of you are wondering why is mine so flat and thin and all. That's the idea. We want it to be thin and flat and not too dense and heavy. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let me show you how to make the pork burger now. That goes inside this. So to make the pork burger, I'm going to take some ground pork mince. I'm going to season it with some salt and of course some black pepper. Now I'm going to add in some dried herbs. This is just a mixed herbs. You can use whatever seasoning you like. And I'm going to add in some finely chopped spring onions. And then of course, give it all a good mix. Mix that all really well. Then it's time to shape the burger patties and I have this lovely kitchen tool to help me shape my burgers. So it's pretty easy. Once your burger is shaped, set it aside and it's time to fry. Now I'm using my cast iron skillet to fry these burgers and I'm heating up some bacon fat in that. 
I love cooking with bacon fat but if you don't have bacon fat anything else will do and then place those burgers gently in the pan and now just let them cook don't touch the burgers it will take three to four minutes on each side it'll get a nice crust on it so just let it cook so I forgot to hit the record button on the camera while I was flipping the burgers but I can compensate you with this incredible footage of the burgers look at that caramelization on it anyway let those burgers cook on the other side after you flip them and now I'm going to add some cheese on top once again use any cheese you like I'm using some delicious cheddar cheese that I picked up in the UK and I'm going to cover it and let those burgers kind of steam almost so that the cheese melts on top and after about a few minutes oh yeah those burgers look like they are ready and I'm going to take them out of the pan and let them rest for a minute or two so now it's time to assemble the burger and I'm going to take one of those cauliflower buns I'm going to flip it over so that the flat side faces upwards and I'm going to apply some butter on it because I love butter in my burger then I'm going to lay on a few slices of fresh tomato some lettuce for crunch and freshness then the patty itself the monstrous pork patty and then I'm going to take the other cauliflower disc put a little bit of mustard on it and our burger is pretty much ready and there you go my friends a keto hamburger made with pork mince I don't really have a name for this burger but hey feel free to be creative and drop me your suggestions and that's it the burger is ready time to taste but you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut that burger in half and let you have a look at that cross section oh man that's food porn right there anyway enough jibber jabber time to taste it's the moment I have been waiting for and that is to eat my lunch which is this pork burger just gonna eat it mm. the cauliflower bun holds up nicely it's not too dense it's not too heavy it's the perfect vehicle for hamburgers on keto that crust on the pork I can feel it against my teeth you know you might be able to make this bun well this cauliflower hamburger bun with broccoli or zucchini as well I think I haven't tried it but if any of you don't eat cauliflower and are adventurous enough and you do try it with either of those let me know or of course you could always skip the bun altogether and just have a lettuce wrap burger but I quite like the way the cauliflower bun is I think it's and it's not uh, very calorie heavy either so I, I'm quite happy with this uh, I'm gonna go and continue eating this now and I hope to see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen cheers and keep cooking see you soon hey folks I've got two questions for you what's the best hamburger you've ever eaten in your entire life it doesn't matter if it's keto or not and what is your favorite burger in the whole world let me know in the comments below and if you like headbangers kitchen subscribe to the channel buy a t-shirt links in the video description box below or just watch another video cheers